Alright. Yeah, we're going to start putting this little 5S together today. We'll uh, hone out the cylinder, try and put the piston in, put the crank in. And uh, I think uh, to start off, what we'll do is uh, we'll put the PCV valve in here and uh, the splash guard and then put the valve cover on. And then uh, I guess we'll, we'll hone it out. All right, let me put you on a tripod and we'll put that uh, PCV valve in. All right, yeah, we turned you around here and lower you down a little bit so uh, you can, there's a little bit more light over here. So uh, let's see what we got here. Get the valve cover, get a gasket. You're not going to reuse that gasket, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. You know, remember, it's, uh, it's just a toy engine, we're only going to play with it for a little while to show. Alright, and there's a splash guard. You know, I took the original nut and I'm going to put a, a brass nut there, I even polished it up, and a brass washer. See, I didn't polish that side, but I polished that side, right? You're only going to see one side, right? And uh, here's the valve. That just keeps uh, that's your little breather. Positive crankcase ventilation goes. There's a little hole right here. I don't know if you can see from that angle, but I'll show you again. And then you got this little fiber, sort of fiber washer gasket. Just goes on the bottom. So I think that's it. If I forget something, you guys let me know. All right, let's. Uh, Pick you up there, maybe zoom in a little bit. There we go. The lock is in place. Hold on. All right. Oh, oh wow. Uh, all right. You know what? I'm glad you reminded me. I'm going to have to lube all that up before I close it up. All right, you get. Let me turn you around so you see. All right. Yeah, you make sure your, uh, your washer's on the bottom here. And all it does is sit in there. It sits in that little hole. Just like that. And then, I didn't show you the little spring. And I don't see it here. Now let me find that little spring. Oh, it was right there. It was in a little box here. It just blended in. See it there? I couldn't even see that. Different angle. Blended in there. I, you just stick that in there and squish it down and that's it. That little uh, that little bolt holds it in. Now let me get, like I said, let me get some oil and uh, lube that up a little bit before we lock it up. Alright, yeah when I put these valves out, I put them in dry because it's a lot easier to uh, to maneuver them. You know, it's, it's tough enough trying to hold the spring up and everything when everything's all slippery. So uh, just uh, maybe you see that, tilt it back here. And uh, this here will lube the, the tappets and the valves a little bit, squirt that up, and then up here you can get them. And then up what's uh, whoop, there we go, put a little paper down there. When you put this in here, it goes a certain way too. You see the way the the little uh, holes up top there because it's like a splash guard and it keeps all the whatever oil keeps it from well you can't bend it upside down anyway because uh yeah and that just goes goes right there and then you put your valve cover on even that uh, even that can't even go backwards you know this here's the little the little air vent you stick that up and just line everything up Put your nice little brass nut on there. You're not even going to see this nut because the carburetor is going to be in the way and the gas tank is going to be in the way. But I thought it would be a nice little touch that I can enjoy while I'm putting it together. And you don't have to get crazy with these. You know, you're just keeping that uh, the piece of gasket tight there. All right, let's hone this baby out. All right, yeah, I raised you up a little bit to see this. Got our uh, two inch ball hone here, and uh, we'll just uh, squirt the inside of this. 
Matter of fact, rub around a little bit. We had to glove up because it's going to get messy. I think my dinner's ready. No, it's not. No? Oh, uh, give me some clam chowder. Just had to place my order in for dinner. And we're going to spin it, spin it in both directions. Not too much, because like I said, this, this wasn't too bad. Whoa, ho, ho! You got to hold her down. Let me hold it down here. Okay, let me turn the other direction. But let's see. Like I say, it didn't didn't really need too much. Get a paper towel here and a flashlight. Let me shut you off so I'm not wasting your time, and then I'll turn you back on. All right, let me take you down here and give you a better look. You just came out beautiful. Just a little bit. It didn't need much honing at all. Hold on, hold on, whoa. You turn your face around so I can see this. Give you a little light. Zoom it in there. Well, you know what? That's what's the problem. You get it all zoomed and go straight in like this. Look at that. I see a little wheel there. I missed some wheel, but uh, other than that, man, let me get another light here. Look at that. Nice cross hatch. Yeah, that cylinder is beautiful. It didn't take any, uh, hardly any honing at all. Just took the glaze off. That's all we want. All right, let me get the piston. Let's uh, start throwing this in together. All right, before we put the piston in, I want to show you something very important. Let me see. Uh, you know what? Let me, let me try to get better light on for you there. There we go. Yeah, that should work. Alright, if you look down here, turn the cam, you got a mark. You got a, you got a, this is what the timing mark is. And uh, I'll try and zoom in on it. I don't know if you can see it there. Right there. Can you see that? There we go. Yeah, there's a mark right there. There is focus, dude. That mark right there. Alright. Now, let me show you what that's got to line up with on the crank. Alright. Check out the teeth on the crank there. I want to stick you in. I'm going to stick you in up here just to hold you so you can see it. And, uh, you can't see it that way because it's upside down. Okay. Yeah, right there is my light. Alright, there you go, right there. The mark's not even on the on the gears, it's on the outside. There you go. Sometimes direct light is uh, bad. Shadow light's a little better. But you gotta mark you gotta line that mark up with the the mark on the cam. Or else the engine will never run right. If if it'll run at all. You see it there? They don't even on, on some engines you can actually they put it on the on the teeth but this one here they they got to put it on the crank because you, you can't really see it if it's on the teeth so all right very important i tell you what i got to go in my dinner's ready i'm going to go in and have dinner and then when we come back out we'll uh, just sit, uh, sit the crank in there and then put the connecting rod in piston all right i'll be right back all right I'm back from dinner. We're all fueled up. So, uh, let me oil this up. This uh, journal here. On the end of the crank. You're not going to be able to see much, but I'm not going to oil the rest of it up because I can get to that. I can get all of this once. Uh, once this crank is in, 
All right, yeah, like I say, you're not going to be able to see much, but uh, we'll take you for the ride anyway. We're going to bring it here to the end of the table where the, the crank can slip through there. And I can still see. I have my light here. You know, I hate these lights because they got the magnet on here. You know, and then when it gets dirt on there, you, you wipe you wipe off all the the shavings, and uh, it it dulls the lens. You know, this this, this lens is uh, pretty cloudy, but but then in, in spots like this, you know, you can't you can't use anything else. So yeah, it still works. All right, see, I can move the cam down here with my thumb, and uh, I can stick the crank in here. I was 180 off. I'm looking for the line. The line was nowhere to be found. Okay. And the tooth off. Got to pull it up. Try again. All right, we got it this time. Whoop! And we just send it home. And uh, it's okay. All right. So the crank is in. The where it belongs. And now, now we'll uh, put our piston in. All right. Yeah, I'm getting ready to put the piston in. And before I put that in, you know, a lot of people ask me, you know, is, is there a front and a back to the piston and does it matter? And uh, there is. There is a front and a back. And uh, I'll show you how you can tell. And you could probably put it in backwards. I mean, on some of them, you know, like this, this one looks like you put it in backwards. But uh, some of the connecting rods... Uh, or uh, cut on an angle but anyway here's how you can tell if you look down here real close right around there you see that X that X always goes to the, the flywheel side the magneto whatever so uh, that would you see that would go in like this like I say on this engine it would probably work the other way but there's a reason they, they put that X there, so we're going to put it back the way it's supposed to be. Alright, I'm going to put you back up on a tripod. Hold on. Alright, before I put you up there, uh, the connecting rod, too, has a, a right way and a wrong way. You see this little uh, mark right here? Well, there's one on the other side here, too. Right there. And you put them together. And that's how you know. All right, let me oil this all up. I got to lube all this stuff up and lube the inside the crank there. So uh, let me lube it up and then we'll uh, we'll finally get to it. All right, I'm gonna lube the cylinder up here. Ever have enough lube? And then we're gonna uh, I'm gonna lube my uh, wrist pin up here. It's all gonna get plenty of oil. I'm not worried about that, but uh, every little bit helps, and that'll all work its way in. Get them on the sides here, and all the the rings. I don't know if I was in camera. I don't know if I was in view right there, but okay. And even down there, crank. I just got it all over the crank. Alright, I put a little mark on here for myself so I know, you know, in case you twist a little bit, because with these rings, you want to spin these rings so they're not in line with each other, you know. You don't really need a ring compressor for these because it's sort of beveled. And let me see what I can do here. Let me sit down. Let me get comfortable. What I usually do is I'll, I'll just squeeze the back and then I'll... Get a screwdriver, and it just goes right in. Now, I this one here, the the two points where they connect the the, the rings are right dead center there. So the next one, I'm going to turn to uh, right there to the left. Okay, 
Same procedure. We can go down a little more. Okay. Squeeze them in. Got my thumb on that one. Push that one in. And then sometimes, sometimes it's it's tough to get a little pressure to go down, but oh god, I think I got it. There you go. Now, I'm going to straighten my piston out. This top one, the ring is just about where I want it. The opening, right about there. Okay. I'm probably blocking everything so you can't see it, but there's not much I could do. All right. I was going to say, I think we got it. We do. That should go right in. It isn't going any further because it's hitting the connecting rod, so. Let's turn her over and see what she looks like. Oh, you know what? Look at that. It hit it dead nuts on. What are the chances of that? All right. Lube up the cam and all that other stuff while I'm here. Okay. Like I say, this is, this is all going to get... Uh, Lube before I even start it. Alright. Let's push our piston down. Okay, I just felt it. it just locked into place. Okay. You guys see that? It's right here. It's all ready to get uh, to put a little more oil on there, right? You never have enough oil. Alright. Now. You see where that mark is that I was telling you guys about? Hmm. <laughs> Let me look for that because I can't see it. All right. I was able to see it's on this side over here, so put a little uh, juice on this, and then uh, just over right here like that. Okay. We get. Uh, we got to get your uh, your slinger here. And, and some bolts and uh, we'll crank that down. Alright, let me see what else I need. Alright, I got all the parts here. I made sure the connector eye was all uh, was ready to get the crank and sitting home. And that feels good. And uh, now you gotta take slinger, put the slinger on. You guys uh, still in view there? Let me tilt this back a little bit. Hold on. Alright, it's a little better. Alright. So you got your slinger on. Then you put this, this sort of washer thing on here. Where you at? Let me turn you. You're not, you're not turned the right away. Oh, there you go. Alright, and then this this has this is just a tab in it. The tabs bend up. This is this is your lock washer pretty much. Okay. So you put that on, put the bolts on. Okay. You see when I'm putting this together, you can't really see much, so. Let me get a wrench and we'll crank down on them. And I'll turn you back on before we uh, turn the tab. All right, I got it all tightened down now. I didn't bend that tab over, but you also, you want to, you want to make sure your, your crank spins and everything and, and nothing is loose so everything is everything is nice and tight the way it should be but uh, <clears throat> let me take you off to the mount again here this is getting monotonous but I want you guys to see this somebody had asked me a question when I took this crank off they seen that that yellow or goldish mark right over here and they, they asked me they said what is it what was the the crank brazed and actually it wasn't. That's probably like an inspection mark or something. There you go, let it zoom in. You see it's it's sort of yellow and then the back half, I don't know if I could turn a crank because it's got a piston in it now. But you see uh, the top half is yellow and then the, the bottom half is like a, right here is a creamy white. So it's probably probably inspected by two people or something. But uh, that's what that is. That's paint. And it's lead paint. That's why it lasted so long. So, Alright. 
here's a tab I'm gonna bend this tab up so you won't be able to see it I'll be in your way and that'll lock them nuts and or them bolts in place and I'll turn you back on when I'm done all right I bent them tabs down there not pretty but effective it just keeps them uh, bolts from uh, backing out and here's, here's that one on that side all right I think we're done in here so uh, let me put you on a tripod there and uh, maybe I'll just uh, put the bottom on we'll button up the bottom for now like I said I think we're we're done in there okay we'll zoom in a little bit you got that put yourself hold on whoa whoa <laughs> you okay all right all right, like I said, when I took this apart, I'm going to uh, reuse what gaskets I can. And some guys uh, probably disagree with that, but uh, I can't see putting a $17 gasket set into a $5 engine. If I had to, you know. Oh, let me turn you around so I can see you. Here you go. Atta boy. All right. Yeah, if I had to, I have, I have new gaskets to put on here, but uh, I see nothing wrong with putting these on. I mean, they... It's it's not like there's any pressure in here or anything like that, and and the oil doesn't even come up to here. It don't even sit up against this. It just keeps splash. You know what? Got to put these pins in first. Little guide pins, and then uh, got your gasket goes on there. And then we got the bottom here. It's right on there. We turn this baby around upside down. Whoa, hold on, hold on, I almost lost it. I guess I could have put the base down and then lifted the block up on top of it, huh? Okay. Now we got uh, this big bolt here. It goes here. You can't see it, can you? Oh, wrong way. Wrong way. I'm almost at the end of the table here. All right, you got the big bolt here, and then you got the little one in the back here. It's not really little, I mean, they're both the same length and everything, but uh, it's a little thinner. And this one here, so close to the block, you can't put a... Where you at? You pull you back again. What the heck's going on here? This one here, so close to the block, you can't put a, a wrench on it, so you have to... Uh, do it with an open end. All right, uh, let me regroup here, clean the table off, and uh, tighten that down. And we'll turn these back on. I don't want to waste your time. All right, I move you guys around behind me here, so you might be able to see a little better. All right, let's uh, let's put this side plate on here. All right, now this one has a gasket, and I'm going to reuse that original because. Not only is it a gasket, but it's actually it's actually a spacer, you know, and uh, that's how you uh, adjust the crank side to side. So and it's, and it's in good shape too. I'm gonna stick this one. It goes on like that. You stick it on this side here. You see a little hole here on the side, and that's how I know it goes right there. And then, all right, goes right there. This is a perfect machine fit here, so you got to make sure it goes on straight and square. And before we do that, where's your oil? It's got a bearing in here. Not a bearing. It's called a bushing, for sake of argument. And a little on the crank. Never have enough oil. You know who taught me that? My buddy Mike. All right, let's see if we can stick it in. Am I forgetting anything? There it's, it's going in. I think it's home. I think it's home. Let's put a few bolts in. What a gasket. A gasket line right up perfect. 
And that don't happen too often. Had plenty of room to move too. Plenty of time. Plenty of time to move and get out of the way. Okay, where's your wrench? Still on view there? Sort of. It's a little tight. I don't know why. Not really tight. It's going in now. Probably just a little cattywampus. Okay. Yeah, you don't have to get too crazy with these. Where's my zip gun? I can don't use them putting stuff together. Alright, let me stand it up here so I can put a little ass behind it. Not too much. Okay. I'm not going to put the plunger in yet. Uh, what do you say we put the head on? Keep the dirt out and uh, give us something to do. I'm trying to move it around here. Okay. I'm going to reuse that too. Alright, let me go find the head first. Don't go away. Alright. Yeah, we found the head. And like I said, I'm going to use the old gasket. Nothing wrong with a head gasket. Some of you guys may frown upon that, but uh, hey. Do what you want with your engines. I'm also going to put the stainless steel bolts in the head. Some people don't like putting uh, mixed metals together, but uh, hey, it's only a show engine. Some of these these uh, head bolts I took out didn't have any washers at all, so I'm just going to put regular washers in there. They usually have uh, big, big thick ones, you know, a little thinner than, than this. We'll see how it looks. I'm not liking it already. All right. It's not getting any washers. All right. We put these in. I'll turn your bag on. All right. Let's finish spinning these in here. Yeah, I didn't like the way it looked with the washers. I don't think I have any problem. I think we're getting a little galling over here. Let me see what's going on. Alright. Yeah, I thought we were getting a little galling going on over here, but it was just a little piece of gasket. Must have came off and went in the thread. But uh, if I ever feel something that feels tight, I you know I stop immediately. All right, not bad. We got the head on, we got the side cover on, we got the crank in, we got the piston in, and we got the bottom on, the base on, so uh, we got a good bit done. And I'm going to throw this, it's just a, a crap uh, spark plug just to keep birds out. So I'm going to put a brand new one in, but that's just staying there for now. All right, I don't know how, how long this video is, but uh, let me check and we'll get back to you. All right, it looks like we're... Uh, Coming up on around uh, 30 minutes or so. That's uh, that's pretty decent. Uh, we got a lot done. Uh, we still got a lot to do though. You know, I mean, uh, got to put the flywheel on and uh, the coil. We got to check the coil. We don't know if it's good. Got to check the coil. Got to check the condenser. Got to put the carburetor on. The gas tank. The shroud. We got to we got to put a decal on the shroud. So uh, we still got a good bit to do. So I might as well uh, just wrap this one up and uh, we'll start again fresh uh, tomorrow. Alright, what do you guys say? Enough of this? Alright, later.